Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see, you stay and subscribe and decide to become part of the Money Minded Tribe. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. So the theme of today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. Are you guys surprised? You know you shouldn't be because you know how much this girl loves the Dollar Tree. And apparently you all love the Dollar Tree too because you keep coming back time and again and sharing your finds and uh, talking about your wish lists and et cetera, et cetera. So obviously you all have a love affair with the Dollar Tree too. Can't exactly blame you. There's so many good things to be found. Let me show you what I found this time. Uh, if you saw my thumbnail, <laughs> I filled up my uh, cat shopping tote, my na 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 cat bag. I don't know. Every time I look at this bag, that's what I think <laughs> in my head. I think like, is it just me or do the rest of you have a soundtrack playing in your head at all times? Or do you live your life in song lyrics? I know I do. I could be sitting in a meeting at work and someone will say something and in my head... <laughs> there's a song playing <laughs> or it'll remind me of a lyric. I don't know. Thankfully, the filter's usually firmly in place. So good stuff. Good stuff. Why don't we go ahead and jump into this Dollar Tree haul and enough of the blah, blah. I found, um, I got a couple repurchases. I found some cool new stuff, including an item that I'd like to taste test for you. So let's go. Uh, to begin with, um, so we, uh, Hugo and Jacob and I went to, um, it's a semi-pro uh, baseball game. They are the Chicago Dogs. They play in Rosemont, Illinois, and um, they have a really cool little stadium. Uh, it's called Impact Field, and it is a really neat place uh, to see a ball game. And what's really neat is it's just down the road from one of my very favorite Dollar Trees ever. It's kind of out of the way for me. It's about 10 miles uh, west of me in a direction that I don't normally go. Um, so I either have to be in the mood or have business out there or something. So I told these guys, we have to go to that Dollar Tree. And of course, they obliged. But you know, I was starting to get a raging headache. And thankfully, Dollar Tree has <laughs> Tylenol available. So this is their acetaminophen, the value health. You get 60 tablets. I bought this and busted into it right away. And that saved my evening for sure. I mean, it wasn't going to, you know, stop me from going to the ball game, but it sure made it a much more pleasant experience. And the dogs won that night and there were fireworks. It was actually Star Wars night, so it was really cute. It's a fun place to take your family, but um, it's definitely fun for adults too. It's super cool. I saw so many generations and so many different um, groups of like scouts and um, little league teams uh, out there just having a really great time for a great price. So if you live in the Chicagoland area, go check out the Chicago Dogs. I highly recommend it. It's a really fun, entertaining evening. So that was cool. And then um, I also found at that store one more box of the Dixie Forks uh, in white, the full, full-sized full uh, medium weight plastic forks. This is too good a deal to skip. There was only like one box left and I'm like, that's meant for me. I got to get it. Yoink, $1.25. Thank you very much. And they will get used. Um, I also found this was a great deal. So I found I love, so I buy my toothpaste at Dollar Tree anyway. And in fact, one of the ones that I buy often, I should see, I should have brought it up here now that I think about it, is it's their, um, it's their dupe for the Sensodyne. It's called like Sensitive White or something like that. And it's, it's an absolute dupe for the Sensodyne toothpaste. I love it. It's $1.25. Do you know how much Sensodyne, like real Sensodyne costs? It's expensive. And so is the like Walmart Equate version is also kind of expensive. It's a lot more than $1.25. So that's kind of my usual, you know, but I also love finding the fun fancy toothpaste, you know, the ones that just gleam from the shelf and say, Michelle, look at me. I'm fancy. <laughs> And I'm cheap. <laughs> so I found this is uh, the Crest 3D White Brilliance in Vibrant Peppermint. Uh, it says 24 hour active stain prevention. Now, I do have sensitive teeth, so I don't know how well this will work for me. You know, like sometimes, you know, for a day or two, I might use a different toothpaste that's not meant for sensitive teeth. And sometimes it can affect my teeth, in which case I switch back to the sensitive, which I always keep one on backup at all times. Or I have even like I have little sample tubes from the dentist, you know, so... I always have that in the house, but I, and Jacob will use this even if it doesn't work out for me, but I went ahead and picked up three of them. Oops, here's number three in this pretty prismatic box. And they had a really nice um, Best Buy did. The expiration is uh, December of 24. So we've got, uh, we've got more than a year on this. So three tubes will be used up in a year, even if Jacob's the only one using it here in the house. So I thought that was a superb deal. Also a superb deal 
were these, you guys. Oh my goodness, by the brand Copper Care. I picked up three pair of the compression low cut socks. You guys, these look so nice. I also picked up, but I don't have to show you because I've already given them to Hugo because um, it's the ankle brace. They also had the ankle brace in store. Um, and I gave them to him because I thought, you know, just in case he he's, he has sprained one ankle in particular many times, the other one just once. But it's kind of like, I, I found that with people that I know that have sprained ankles, like it's very easy to roll an ankle again. And, you know, he's always out working or he's, at, you know, at work, he's very active and on his feet all the time and whatever. So in case of emergency, but I did find those as well, which that is a phenomenal deal. I've also seen out there, there's like long compression socks and like an elbow brace kind of thing. Also by the Copper Care. But in any case, so I bought him uh, uh, two of the ankle braces. He has those at home now. And I have three pair of these Copper Care socks. Um, I opened one box. Let me show you what they look like. They're definitely like a low cut sock. They have little grips on the bottom. So I suppose you could just wear them around the house if you need like a compression sock. And um, you can see like the ribs right here in the middle will definitely provide that compression like in through your arches. These look like they're going to be very, very comfortable. So uh, perhaps uh, I will wear these for a few hours and um, give you a little review on my next Scoop It or Skip It segment, which is going to be coming out shortly, you guys. I haven't done one in a while. I've only done one before, and I thought it was so much fun. So why not continue the discussion, right? So perhaps this will be part of that segment. But they were out in abundance, and I'm noticing other YouTubers across the country finding these Copper Care items in all different regions. So I am hopefully that the, I'm hopeful that these are widespread and that you guys are able to find them too if this is something you are looking for. I thought that was super. And then, let's see, what else should I show you? Um, so over in, let's see, in Fun and Games, <laughs> I got for my mom three big word search puzzle books. She is so into these, you guys. I think I must, I think I mentioned several videos ago that um, I had bought one of these puzzle books to take with me to my trip in Los An to Los Angeles uh, back in April and promptly forgot it at home. Whoops, <laughs> never made my backpack. Oh, well. Um, so I had it here at home and my mom was doing laundry and uh, she had the TV on and I noticed she had a pen and she was circling furiously. So I said, hey, take that home. I don't need it. You know, I took it, you know, I explained, I bought it for the trip, never used it, blah, blah. Just take it home. She goes, no, no, I'll just keep it here. Whatever. I shoved it into her laundry bag <laughs> when she left. And uh, so when she got home later, she called me. She goes, thank you for the puzzle book. I've done like four already. Like she's been like so into them and she loves it. She's been doing them several in an evening, you know, just she'll have what Whatever on TV, something that she doesn't have to like pay attention to per se. Usually a lot of diners, drive-ins and dives. That's one of her favorites. <laughs> and she's just circling away. I got her a pack of different colored highlighters. She likes that too. She says that's a lot of fun to use highlighters. So whatever. It's making it a lot of fun. And then this is so funny. So then I also bought, um, I also hauled several videos ago, the Friends uh, word search puzzle books. And I, I bought, there's two volumes of those. I gave those to Hugo because he's a, a fan of the Friends TV show. Not thinking he was necessarily going to do the puzzles, but he just went on a recent road trip with his family to Tennessee and was doing the puzzles. And then all of a sudden everyone's like, oh, let me get that. Oh, can I try the puzzles? And everybody from his dad uh, to his nephew to his brother, like everybody had used those puzzle books at one time or another. And Hugo even, this is even more funny. I'll tell you guys this real quick. Uh, they, they were stay staying in an Airbnb about a mile from a Dollar Tree, just under a mile. Hugo walked over there early in the morning to go buy more puzzle books. And he texted me a picture like that he was going there. And I got so excited. I said, oh, FaceTime me the makeup aisle. <laughs> and he did. Um, but there was nothing exciting. They had a lot of LA colors. Um, you know, They actually had a very nice, I would say, nice, neat makeup aisle. But nothing special. Nothing good there. But I made him pan very slowly with his phone. <laughs> Because, of course, he would have bought whatever I wanted. You know, he's good that way. But anyway, these puzzle books, they're addictive, a lot of fun. And I bought three. Um, this is like Jumbo Word Search Volume 1. And I got Volume 3. I think there, there must be a Volume 2 out there. And this one is uh, Great Big Word Finds in a large print. But, um, yeah, everybody's into these word search puzzles lately. So maybe I need to get back into, into that kind of thing. You know, maybe I'm the one who's missing out. Also in fun and games, uh, Jacob was, Jacob came over to me. He goes, hey, can I get these? 
So I said, sure, throw them in. Um, he recently, so I also hauled a video or two ago. Um, it was an Uno deck that's really just a standard deck of playing cards, but it comes with like eight or ten wild cards and instructions for like exclusive games through Uno. But it is actually a standard deck of cards. I mean, you could use it to play standard card games with it, right? So uh, Jacob recently learned how to play blackjack <laughs> from his buddy Jordan. And apparently some of the kids at school know how to play too. Now, they are not gambling, I promise you. But he said he needs poker chips, you know, because like during study hall, you know, if there's nothing to do, the teachers don't really mind. The kids can, you know, commiserate quietly amongst themselves and, you know, playing cards so far has not been prohibited. I don't see any reason why not. Again, no money is exchanging hands, but he said he needed these. I said, sure, son, throw it in. But then he promptly left them at my house and he's been at his dad's this past week. So I don't know, whatever. <laughs> He'll get them eventually and, and take them to school with him so he can play with the other kids, I guess. And then this I grabbed just because I just thought it was so stinking cute. It's um, made by Hot Wheels and it's uh, it's it says Hot Wheels character cards, Disney, Pixar, Lightyear. And this is Socks. I bought it because why? It's a cat. It's a cat car. No, 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 cat car. <laughs> I know I'm such a goofball, but it was so cute. I just thought, I just found it very appealing. I love the fact that it's this cute little, cute little chubby car and it's got like little cat ears here and like, I don't know. I just thought it was super cute and, um, you know, I may give it to Hugo to give to one of his nieces or uh, maybe I'll just put it in like a donation for Toys for Tots or like, you know, one of those kinds of things. Uh, but I just thought it was really cute. I couldn't resist it. I don't know. And, you know, I didn't even notice that they had any others. I think I was so taken with socks. He's just so cute there on the package that it just jumped in my cart. Booyah. <laughs> um, and then uh, one, well, there's a couple food items. I'll get to that in a second. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. I've been complaining that everybody's finding t-shirts but me. I did find t-shirts. Um, and, in fact, I bought two of the same color and one of another. And these are a 2X ladies, allegedly. <laughs> um... And I got uh, one in this royal blue. Uh, I actually, oh, excuse me. I got two actually in this royal blue color. It's the, two of the exact same. And then this one in like a lighter turquoise blue. Now I say allegedly because, I mean, I guess these probably are a 2X, but they seem to be a more junior fit. And so therefore do not fit me and my squidgy middle-aged body. Um, so I, uh, you know, I do have the receipt. I could go exchange. But you know what I thought instead? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually donate them. And I'm going to donate them not to like Goodwill or anything. But um, I just saw on Facebook recently, and I forgot that I had subscribed to them on Facebook. But it's the, um, it's a school children's clothing association in one of my nearby suburbs. It's in fact the suburb, the suburban high school district that I used to attend as a kid. It's very close to me. And they just set up a, a clothing drop box for, it's for students. It, bene it directly benefits students. And I'm thinking to myself, teen girls need t-shirts. So, um, and I also have some really great jeans that I've kind of outgrown <laughs> and not in the same way that teen girls outgrow their clothes, <laughs> you know, cause they're usually going this way and I'm going, but we won't talk about that. Anyway, I've got some jeans in really great condition that I can donate as well. So I figured I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put these t-shirts in that Dropbox. It's just a short drive from my house and it's near a Dollar Tree that I like to go to sometimes. So dual purpose there. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't quite fit me or they fit me, but they didn't look good. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but these will be great uh, for a teen girl. So excited to donate those along with some other things. And then, okay, now we are on to the food items. And these are the last items, right? Let me just make sure. Yes, that is correct. Um, so this was a phenomenal find that even at Aldi, you can't touch nearly near at $1.25 for organic chicken broth, low sodium Pacific Foods organic chicken broth for $1.25 a quart. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic, you guys. I mean, really, and they had a ton of them. I could have grabbed a dozen and there still would have been plenty, but that's too many. Um, What was the date on this? Okay, January 17th of 24. So we have like four-ish months left on this, you know, so that's why I didn't go, I didn't go ham. You know, we are also a smaller family here in this household. So, um, but I will definitely use this for soup making and it's going to be soup making whether, um, Sooner than we think. It always kind of creeps up on us, doesn't it? Um, even though here in Chicagoland, we just experienced triple digit temperatures 
recently. It was, it, it felt like you were being cooked in a vat of soup <laughs> when you left the house. And those were uh, in office days for me too. So ugh, that was pretty brutal. Um, for anybody who works outside, please, dear God, stay hydrated. That's all I can say. It's just, wow, it was intense. But anyway, and the last food item and one that I'm going to taste on camera for you that I can't wait to taste on camera for you is this quart of Prairie Farms whole chocolate milk. Yummy. Yum. This looks delicious. And it's a, it's, it's a shelf stable pantry style of chocolate milk. This is not the refrigerated. No, you guys, this is, this is one of those, you know, like, uh, like the Marcel's Modern Pantry or the, um, what was that? Oh, the Gossner milk. Does anybody find Gossner anymore? I think Marcel's is pretty much the brand now for the shelf stable milk at Dollar Tree. Nonetheless, I like that one too. I think it's great, but this is a shelf stable one. And I'm like, Prairie Farm seems very familiar. I feel like we get this a lot in the Chicagoland area. So let me see where they are from. Oh, this is why. Distributed by Prairie Farms Dairy Incorporated in Ed Edwardsville, Illinois. I knew they were local. I assumed Wisconsin, but nope, right here. Edwardsville, Illinois. So just uh, not horribly far from here. But uh, yeah, so this is um, so this is grade A, vitamin D, homogenized. Uh, used within seven days of opening. It's ultra heat treated. That's why it's, uh, you know, shelf stable. Uh, refrigerate after opening. Shake well. Well, I got this nice and cold because who wants to drink room temperature chocolate milk? No, I think it would have to be either be ice cold or warm it up and make hot chocolate. Ooh, although I'm not really ready for hot chocolate season. Are any of you? I don't know. I think pumpkin spice lattes just came out today as I filmed this. If I feel like I heard that as a newsworthy thing. Unscrew the top and it has one of these little pull tops. So let me do that carefully and not spill chocolate milk on my couch. Let's pray, guys. Let's pray. Oh, success. <laughs> okay. And I brought with a little cup. So let me just pour some in there. Oh my God, you guys. It looks like, <laughs> and smells like, melted chocolate ice cream. Oh my sweet gherkins, you guys. I don't know. Let me pour just a little more in there so you can really see. Oh, oh. fabulous. All right. Go ahead and take a sip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, as it like washes over your tongue, it's just like, <sighs> it's like a velvet blanket of chocolatey. It's fabulous, this is fabulous. This is like, this is what you need for PMS. <laughs> this is what you need maybe post-workout. Let's see how many grams of protein we got. Let's look. Let's look again at the nutrition. Uh, this is four one cup servings per container, two hundred ten calories, seven grams of fat, uh, twenty eight grams of sugar. Ooh, high sugar. Includes seventeen grams of added sugar. Oi, okay. So you know, if you're watching that, watch that. Um, eight grams of protein per cup. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. This could be a really good pre or post workout uh, treat or <laughs> just because people like me <laughs> I can't wait to uh continue I'm gonna take one more sip one who are we kidding mm. Mm. <laughs> you guys Ooh, that's dangerous oh my goodness I'm not gonna buy that too often no who am I kidding I'm gonna buy that all the time <laughs> at least until it's no longer it's very very good I highly recommend the Prairie Farms whole chocolate milk that is shelf stable. Oh, date on this. Wow. March 11th of 2024. So we've got quite a bit of time on this too. This might be a good thing to just keep on your shelf. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Could be a good, do you like flavored coffee creamers? Do you like chocolate? My mom loves this kind of thing. Maybe I'll have to get a quart for her. She might like that. This could be an excellent coffee creamer. You know, if you're not, uh, if, if lactose is not an issue for you or whatever, uh, this could be an excellent coffee creamer. I just thought of that. Hmm. Might be a good thing to get for mom. Uh, and anyway, you guys, that's it. That's my entire haul. Thank you, as always, uh, for joining me if you are returning. And if you are uh, somebody new here and you like my content, I hope that you will subscribe, stick around, watch some of my past videos, and see what I've got coming up. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I send you all so much love and peace.